This once again is our historical map from 125,000 years ago that shows the extent of the continental glacier uh, at this particular time. And now what we want to do is show today, and you'll notice now the Great Lakes are there. So essentially what's happened is this particular glacier has retreated, and it's essentially melted, uh, but it's retreated back to Greenland uh, where we see it today. Uh, and so let's talk about what happens when a glacier retreats. Often what you'll see are another feature, and this is going to be behind the end moraine, or in the case of Indiana, north of the end moraine, and that's called a recessional moraine. And these are what they are, is essentially successive or repeated standstills or stops, and then re-advancements of a retreating glacier. So the glacier is retreating, it's melting, but we might get maybe a, a few hundred years or maybe a few thousand years of cooling. So then the glacier is going to advance. Uh, a re-advance is going to create kind of a, a mini end moraine, and then it's going to retreat, and then it's going to advance again, and then it's going to retreat, and then it's going to advance again. And so what we have is these distinctive features that are formed uh, uh, because of a continental glacier, and we see them throughout Indiana. So just kind of a demonstration here, an end moraine has been created, this glacier is retreated, and it's going to have maybe an ice age or mini ice age or, or cooling period, it's maybe going to advance and it's going to create another moraine, a recessional moraine, so another end, mini end moraine. In the case of Indiana here, once again, is our end moraine, and you can actually see these recessional moraines. You can actually see them here uh, very clearly. Uh, and so there's these different lobes I've mentioned beforehand. Uh, and so there's a notable one up here uh, in um, uh, northwest Indiana. But if you're driving north on your way to Fort Wayne, if you're driving north on I-69, uh, you go up and over these different recessional moraines. Maybe you'll notice them, maybe you won't. Uh, and so these recessional moraines are just little standstills in which this retreating glacier advanced for a brief moment. This kind of help you if you don't see where those are located. Hopefully this helps uh, to showcase the general location of uh, those, in, those recessional moraines.